So guys, today's video is sponsored by Brandy. Her seven shooter album B7 will be out tonight at 12 a.m. Make sure you go and get your copy, okay? Her second single, Borderline, is out, will be out, so make sure you listen to that also. Shout out to Brandy. Um, the coins for that promo didn't hit my cash app. <laughs> <laughs> So, I, how is that a promo? Where's my money? It's on the way. Ooh. Girl, before you do the promo, I need my coin. <laughs> it's on the way. And we're charging extra. Hey, 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 hey. How you doing? Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins. What's up, Betty Army? Welcome to another MOOC. Happy, happy Thursday, guys. Listen, the week is almost done. Again. Again. Girl, when I tell you time is waiting for no man. Hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Today we have some steamed parrot fish with some steamed carrots and some steamed cabbage why look like my fish is kissing your fish girl girl you better back up girl no i am with that i am with that that stuff no ma'am that's what we're not gonna do yeah so yes guys um remember that place that i ordered the steamed um um steak salmon from there that was really good so i decided i'm gonna order some fish from them today oh so let's see how this tastes Ooh. okay we also have the coldest coldest water bottle yes in the building mm -hmm. okay click the link in the description to get your very own and y'all already know to use our promo code dehydrated to get 10 percent off girl what i said dehydrated to get 10 percent off your entire order because some of these girls are thirsty they're parched <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. They're famished. Anyways, let's say the grace. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, because you're doing a lot. God is good. God is great. Let us thank him for our food. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, you're really doing too much. Let's start eating this food because you're really getting on my nerves already, girl. <laughs> Alright, let's let's do a piece of carrot. How you doing? Here guys. Ooh, it's dripping. Here you go. Okay. Yeah, when I tell you I am starving. Mm. Um Are you? Well, look how she ate that. Mmm. Mmm. I am so hungry. I'm so hungry. Mmm. All right, let me do the word of the day. I am starving, guys. Mm. Ooh. Girl, I am not here for these bones today. Mm -mm. Can I just eat my food? Okay, so this says, don't waste energy on things you can't control. Mm -hmm. Focus on what you can control such as getting better and making others around you better. Message! Everybody say God's will be done. Listen, you ain't saying nothing but the truth, honey. Mm. Message. Mm. Okay, let me see what this You said this is, is the giving. same fish place? Yeah. Mm. Let me see what this cabbage is giving. Girl, I'm kind of scared of the... um. My bones? The bones. The bones, the bones, the bones. Them dry bones. Them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Oh, guys, make sure you grab a snack and come right back. I would like to see it. Mm hmm You see what the intro said, girl. Mm. Mm. So guys, we uploaded a new video on our vlog channel last night. If mm. you haven't seen it, mm. please go and watch. Girl, 
Mm. This fish. Hey, y'all know I gotta keep it cute when it comes to fish. These big fishes. I love fish, but it just, it's just, um, yeah. It's kind of complicated, okay? Can I just get the fish filleted with not all these damn bones? And we know what a lot of people do not like cook their fish or serve it with the head on it, but Caribbean people, that's how we do it, girl. Ain't nothing, what, y'all scared of the fish because of, um. I see they have posted it on the shade room. Y'all scared of a fish because of the damn head, girl? Mm mm. Y'all realize all these other animals that y'all eating, they once had heads. You know that, right? Girl. And the fish head is not the ugliest thing. The fish face is not the ugliest thing, girl. It's so weird though because um mm. you see how we love eating um fish and we love eating chicken. You think you would still eat fish or chicken if you had like to raise it um for yourself and then kill it and cook it? Girl, she's not a farmer. I ain't finna get dirty. No ma'am. No, I don't think I would eat chicken or fish anymore. Mm -hmm. If I actually see them being killed. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. A lot of people have farms and that's what they do. I could never do that. They raise them and kill them themselves. Mm -mm. I could never do that ma'am. Mm -mm. mm. So what are y'all up to? Y'all excited that tomorrow is Friday? Do y'all want a piece of this fish, but y'all gotta watch for bones. Mm. Them bones, them bones, them dry bones, them bones, them bones, them. Mm. Y'all, we have some brother that tried to today because the girls are fighting. <laughs> Talking about vanilla chai tea, when last we had that? Oh my god, that used to taste so good. The girls are fighting on here, girl. Honey, let me just eat all of this food first before I talk. Because I am hungry. Mm. The girls are fighting or arguing. Fighting, arguing, whatever you want to call it. Mm. They are not on the same page. They're not in the same book. <laughs> the girls are unfollowing each other, girl. No, ma'am. Mm. Why can't we all just get along? Mm mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all, if y'all don't like steamed veg, y'all better go somewhere. Mm mm. Not these damn bones. So guys, today's video is sponsored by Brandy. Her seven shooter album, B7, will be out tonight at 12 a.m. Make sure you go and get your copy, okay? Her second single, Borderline, is out, will be out, so make sure you listen to that also. Shout out to Brandy. Um, the coins for that promo didn't hit my cash app. <laughs> 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 so, I, how's that a promo? Where's my money? It's on the way. Ooh. Girl, before you do the promo, I need my coin. <laughs> it's on the way. And we're charging extra. Guys, if you have a small business, if you have a business, and you want to promote it on our platform, Mmm, this fish bone. Mmm. -mm. You're trying to take me out, girl. Wait a minute. Mm. Make sure you email us at baddiepromo at yahoo.com for our prices. <laughs> you enjoyed your fish over there, girl? <laughs> Can you shut up? <laughs> shut don't go up only prices do. So do me a favor and shut up too. Boy, if you don't... <laughs>
is take my advice and shut up too. Girl. You don't even know how it goes. Do me a favor and shut up too. You already know what I beat this fish. I gotta concentrate. I don't want to be talking and then something goes in my throat. I, ooh, this is the part I hate. So guys, my condolences, or I should say our condolences, go out to Regis. He passed away oh, yes. at the age of 88. Oh, okay? wow. Regis from Regis and Kelly. One of the legendary voices. He was so he funny too. Away, yeah. He was really funny and very vibrant. Remember we went to Regis and Kelly one time, but he wasn't the one that was there. We did? Yeah, it was the guy from um It was the guy from I don't Queer. remember It was the guy from Queer Eye that was there. Karamo? Not Karamo, no the Carson Christie? Yes. I don't I don't remember going to know no mm -hmm. when Brandy and Monica performed. Oh yeah. And yes. it was me, you and Frank. Oh yes, I think that's the day I wore the um, my hair was blood and I wore the green and white stripe um kind of long shirt. Yes. Mhm. Mm I remember that day. That's from the picture that we, me, you, and me, you, and Brandy took behind stage, which he had on the white thing with the black skirt. And what's the name? Did her hair? And the swoop to the side. Kim Kimble did her hair. Kim Kimble did her hair. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Yes, so our condolences out to um, Regis's family. Mm -hmm. Did he have kids? I'm pretty sure he had kids. I'm pretty sure. Wow, you just never know. This year has been a somersault. Mm. You having difficulties over there with your fish, girl? This fish is mmm. Mmm, she tastes good. Mm. This fish is having me struggling over here, girl. Mmm, it's a struggle. <laughs> it really is. But I gotta be cautious when I'm eating fish like this. Mmm. We gotta be cautious, honey. Mmm. Mm. So guys, we will be live on you now tonight. So make sure y'all click the link in our description and sign up to you now and add us so you can know when we're live. It is free 99, okay? We always talk about a lot of stuff on you now. We just have fun with y'all, interact with y'all, talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. Any questions y'all have, we just answer them. And we've been telling y'all for months now. Sign up for you now, for you now, okay? Girl, mm. y'all missing out on all the fun. Ooh, I'm signing up for this fish. Mm. How you a fish signing up for a fish, girl? Ooh. Oh, I understand. Mm. These bones, these I'm a dry I'm a, bones. I'ma just act like he didn't say that just now, girl. I'm, yeah, I'ma just avoid it. Girly girl. Don't do the girly girl, girly girl, girly girl. I don't got the time to argue with nobody, girl. I'm concentrating on these damn bones. So guys, Tamar's new show was supposed to come on tonight, but it got WeTV postponed. Mm. Why you think they postponed it? It's because of what she's going through right now? You think they postponed it? Definitely because of what she's going through right now, but not in a caring way. I don't think they're, they care so much about her. They care more so about the show. And because, so? and because she's not in a place where she could go on The Breakfast Club, go on this show, go on that show to promo the show, the actual show, that's why they want to push it back. They want to give her some time. But don't you think um, because of the recent circumstances where her people would have actually watched to see what yeah. is going to happen? Or maybe they have to go back and re-edit the whole thing. That could be it too. You think so? All I'm saying is these networks don't really care. They don't. If that was the case, certain stuff that they aired on... Baxter Family Value wouldn't have wouldn't have shown, but they love the drama. 
Um, so the drama aspect, definitely, they're not going to want to take that part out. No, it's a reality show. Of course, they want drama in it. Girl, I don't feel like they they did that for the public just to just to. So you think this whole thing now is a scam? You think the whole thing? What she, do you mean? She the whole situation is not true. What do you mean? The whole situation, the whole situation, the whole suicide thing. Uh huh. You think? Oh, I see people saying that online. Okay, but people can say what they want to say, girl. They have opinions like how people out here have booty holes, but that don't mean it's a girl. No. Why would somebody play around with their life? Mm mm. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. And some of y'all need to keep your opinions and shut up behind that damn keyboard and go read the Bible. Because y'all just say anything that comes to y'all mouth. And some of y'all be saying, be saying stuff for likes. Because y'all want some attention on social media. Girl, if you don't go way over there in that corner and go read Hebrews I have to use chapter 2, verse 15. Girl. What um thing is that? I don't know. It's just random. So let's talk about the real matter that's at hand, Craig. What? The real tea. Mm. Oh, the girls that are fighting? Mm hmm. Child. I'm over here fighting with this fish. Mm mm. Mm. Glory, Jesus. Mm. This fish is good, though. Mm. Oh, wait. Mm. <laughs> mm. One second. Wait a minute now. I gotta be really careful because these bones are fine and sharp. And I don't want it joking me in my esophagus, girl. In your ligaments? Mm. It's not working. So guys, the girls are fighting. No ma'am. So, Nicki, Nicki Minaj's, well, ex-stylist, hairstylist, now Aragante, was going off on a rant on um his Instagram story and yeah, his Instagram basically. Oh, it wasn't on Twitter too? I don't know, I didn't check Twitter, but a lot of, he said a lot of stuff on Instagram, his Instagram story and his actual um page. Oh. So, apparently, cause Nick, apparently Nicki Minaj have a new song that came out today. With ASAP Ferg? ASAP Ferg. Move your hips or something like that. And she needed to do a promo video for Instagram, as she always do. Now, in the song, she says she has um strawberry cake hair. So, anyway, she needed a strawberry cake wig. For the video. With braids at the side. With braids at the side and um a bun at the top with some chapsticks or whatever, girl. Well, no, she needed it with a bang and braids at the side. Yeah, because the song says that. So, it, yeah, because in the song she says she's wearing a strawberry wig. Strawberry shortcake. Short, strawberry, strawberry shortcake <laughs> with a bang and two braids at the side. Oh, damn. Mm, I thought we said that. <laughs> You damn bum! <laughs> so anyway, mm. you mess with the fish, you get the bones. You know Tay is her go-to hairstylist, and he is one of the best in the game. He is one of the best, him and Alonzo. But anyways, um. He couldn't make it because he had a um dental appointment. He had to go get his um, wisdom teeth, um, teeth, um, pulled. But and she, he said she is saying that he knew from. Yeah, he knew, he knew. Um, this was already booked prior. from prior. And but he's saying that um, he was supposed to go get his teeth pulled, but because of the whole quarantine and stuff, everywhere was closed. So finally, when the place opened up back now, he found out like two weeks ago, and he informed her or whatever. Oh, he's saying that he told her? Mm-hmm. Two weeks. But it's, I, th I, I it's, you know that kind of situation where you, you, 
you um let somebody know about something but it's not a definite that you won't make it but you're going to try to um do it you get what i'm saying but to be honest if you book something from before you got your teeth appointment you have to go through with and business yeah business. And, don't, and you never want to get comfortable with anybody. You're still uh, doing business with them. They still have to pay you. So at any time, they can drop you. My whole thing is when y'all do this stuff, like celebrities between their hairstylists or whatever kind of stylists, isn't it a contract? Like, aren't you, if you have something big to do and you lock down the stylist for this particular date, isn't there a contract and y'all have to sign on it? So y'all can't back out or go, I don't, I don't understand. Think, I don't think everybody does it. I don't understand. I would think if I'm a Nicki Minaj, I would want to do that, girl. Anyways, Nicki Minaj was like, so take what I make it. So Nicki, Nicki Minaj was like, okay, make the wig and send the wig, and I have somebody else install it. He was like, no, he don't want to do that. So Nicki Minaj found another stylist. Now. This is where the problem comes in. Because this other stylist, Jonathan. Him and what's the name had beef. Him and Tay is beefing. I don't know what they beefing about. Oh, the whole Jeffree Star thing. Oh, he did Jeffree Star's here. He do Je Je Jeffree Star here and everybody knows everything about Jeffree Star and his problematic um, racial slurs. He's right. Whatever. He's basically racist. So when everybody was going in on Jonathan asking why he did... Um, James Charles, I mean Jeffree Star is here. He basically said that he got paid twenty thousand dollars and he wasn't gonna let that offer pass by. Mm-hmm. So he basically said, so Tay was he mad. don't care who's here, he's doing girl as long as he's getting paid. He don't care. So Tay was mad and says not all money is good money. And then when Tay said that, um Jonathan 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 <laughs> replied and said, um, it's good over here or something like that. Anyways, the girls are arguing and I don't know why we can't just all get along. So I guess Tay is even more mad now because Nikki got Jonathan to do her hair. Mm -hmm. But if she had something to do, which I mean, that was a little bit petty to get Jonathan, but I guess clearly he was the only one that was available. You gotta look at it at, at a business aspect though. He's looking at it as a um, loyalty thing. And he's going on the rank saying, oh loyalty. And there's a lot of people here that he didn't do because out of respect for Nikki and stuff like that. We get it, but guess oh, what? that's what he said? Yeah, but we get it. But Nikki is a big artist. Okay? She can't make because Aragante can't come do her hair. Her whole business stops. She have to find the next best in the business. But whether or not, not y'all is beefing, that is not between Nikki because she has to get um shit done. But he's the one that was that was dumb in this case because guess what? If you do business, you're doing business. They're a hairstylist. Of course, you're gonna do people's hair that don't get along. Okay. Nikki could not tell me that I couldn't do somebody's hair because she don't get along. Exactly. Well. That business. That was your choice. And plus, he is best friend with Dream Doll. Dream Doll hate Nicki Minaj. He's best friend with Dream Doll, and he always. My whole thing hair. is, if if Cardi B's team reached out to you to do her hair, whether or not she's in rival with Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj can't tell you not to do Cardi B hair. It's a business. So if you took it up on yourself because you wanted to be loyal and you wanted this friendship with somebody who you're working for, that was on you. Nicki Minaj didn't put a gun to your head or threaten you and say you can't work with these people in this industry, girl. No. So that's, uh, I think that's wrong on your part. It's bad on your part because you, yes, y'all was friends, but you should have kept it at a certain level. At the end of the day, you work for her. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's why you can't mix um, friendship with business because, girl, when feelings get involved and y'all do... You get what I'm saying? And then he also said that the hair company that he normally get the hair from mm -hmm. for Nikki 
was not responding to him since the, the quarantine. And it, it, he said it don't make no sense he get no other hair and make the wig. Because working with Nicki Minaj for years, he know what she like and she know the differences of the hair. So if he got a different hair and made the wig, oh, that's she would have cursed him out. Oh. Because that's not the quality the kind of hair she likes. Girl, I don't know what kind of wig, what kind of hair Nicki Minaj like and where it come from, honey. But she knows the difference between the hair textures or whatever. So he said that it wouldn't make no sense for him to make no wig when he couldn't get the hair that she always, he always uses for her wigs. So... So, let me ask mm. Aragante something like this, though. Mm, girl. You're a hairstylist, right? Why don't you have enough hair? I know it runs out. Here it is. And we're in a pandemic. But you should have made sure you had enough hair. I do get what he's saying, though. He don't want to give her a different quality. It's not having the hair. Yeah, it's the quality that she wants. Yeah, but the hair, he didn't have the hair that she liked. Yeah, because the company wasn't re um, responding to him. Yeah, but I'm I'm saying he should have made sure he had enough. What child? And my whole thing is, too, if you're a hairstylist, and you're making mad money, because I'm pretty sure he's made over a million now doing mm -hmm. hair. I would start my, my own hair company that has every every texture, every style. Right, that would make sense. And use it to make my own I'm wigs. making it to make my own hair. You could be selling hair and doing wigs. No, that make more sense. But you know what though? People that start their own hair, they still have to get it from somebody. Unless they're, because remember most of the hair come from overseas. So they still have to get it from somebody. Yes, do that and make sure you have a lot. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you could be a seller after that. You could be a reseller. You get what I'm saying? Girl, I don't know. Honestly and truly, this is just our opinions, but we don't know the in and outs, like the behind the scenes of stuff like that. Uh -huh. But all I'm saying is, these celebrities, girl, they don't really, a lot of them don't really care for the, the gay kind of parts that do their hair and style them or whatever. Most, I'm not going to say all of them. Cause you do have good people out there that's loyal mm -hmm. but a lot of people it's it's a business transaction for them yes they they're all fun and it's all cute when you doing their hair and beating their face girl yeah but it's a business but it's a business and at the end sometimes of the day. they move so fast that if somebody's not available they have to find they somebody have to else. jump on it yeah they have to find somebody else so you can't take it personal but i guess he, he took it personal because He's been with Nikki for a while. And, and it was so fresh that he was just started beefing with Jonathan. So he feels a type of way. Like, he feel like Nikki spiteful did that. Because he said something about being petty. So. Girl. But to be honest, I don't think she wanted to not use him anymore. She's just, she just wanted somebody to do Yeah, but here. now. But now he went on the rant. I think it's dead because he went on the rant. rant. And he unfollowed her. She unfollowed each other. Girl. So now it's just like, y'all ain't finna work together no more. So now she's even gonna work more with Jonathan. So who loses in this situation? Because Nicki Minaj is your biggest client. But anyways, ain't nobody doing my hair, girl. I ain't got the coins or nothing. So I ain't wearing no damn wig with no specific kind of hair texture, girl. <laughs> All I'm saying, why is the girls can't get along? You have two gay male that's doing their thing in the industry. Why y'all had to start an argument? Is it that, like, why it always gotta be a competition between the girls? Ah. Mm mm. Y'all getting on my nerves. But, anyways, on well, y'all, as y'all can see, my fish is done. Girl, my belly is filled. On to a lighter note, because I watched something last night and it was so inspiring. I watched a documentary of Walter Mer Mercado. The, astrolo the man that does astrology, the Spanish man. And girl, when I tell you, it was so inspiring. It's so, it's so funny how one person can in in inspire millions of people, a whole nation, the whole Spanish community. What was it about? He did astrology, like he reads about signs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But he was more so positive, like he give people faith, like, you know, like, he was like a ritual, like an everyday where people watch him every day oh. and get inspiration for different signs. Like oh. today he would say, Taurus, today is your day. You will go out and you will, be, you will do what you want to do. You will be fearless. 
you will be strong, you would achieve this. Like he was very motivational and everybody loved him. And girl, when I tell you he came out in his fashion, honey, his robes, mm -hmm. and he did his makeup, girl, and everything. Like oh, he, he was, was really, gay? I, that's a thing too. He did not he did not have um a sexuality. He was just like whatever. But he did his makeup and his hair and he was very um in his capes and his beading girl. Y'all can go watch it. It's on Netflix. It's Walter Mercado. And he passed away last November. So, yeah. How old was he? He was like 87. Uh-huh. But it was, it's, a good, it's a good story to watch. Anyways, though, guys. I am full. I am so you already know what time it is. Well, I am not really full, but... Fish is really kind of light. Y'all already know what time it is. I am about to go and edit this video after we're done. Listen, y'all already know what time it is, girl. It's time for shout outs, honey. Shout out. <laughs> Let me give some people over on the vlog channel some shout outs. Okay. So make sure you go subscribe. Shout out to Carmen Smith. Carmen, girl, is he related, girl? Is you my cousin, auntie, uncle, um, somebody, honey? Oh, wait, you send the vlog channel, girl. I'm done. Let me go on over to the vlog channel. Are you girl, done? you don't went back on your word, honey. Shouts Ooh, out to mm. the right fit. Oh, girl, when I tell you, honey, you are just the right fit for me, girl. When I tell you, honey, anything else gonna fit. Shouts out <laughs> to um mm. D Lacy Blue. Ooh, D Lacy Blue. Listen, girl, you are my favorite color, honey, and I love you. <laughs> Shouts out to Tanya Prince. Mmm. Listen. Tanya Prince, girl. Honey, you are the princess, the queen, and the prince. Shouts out to Ooh, this um, fish. Shouts out to Rolls Royce Phantom. Ooh, girl, all these luxury cars, honey. Girl, is you a car dealership, girl? Mm-mm. Let me hold the car. <laughs> Shouts out to Sweet Talk with Sugar. Ooh, girl, when I tell you, honey, mm, give me some sugar. I am your neighbor, honey. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Shouts out to Aaliyah Poole. Mmm. Aaliyah girl. I want to rock that boat in your pool, honey. I want to go swimming, girl. <laughs> Shouts out to Carnivore Nation. Ooh, girl. The carnivores are here, girl. Y'all have a whole nation, girl. Honey, I would like to see it. And last but not least, shout out to mm. Lene Preston. Ooh. Listen. Miss Preston, honey, you is never pressed like a panini, honey. Oh, man. Oh, girl, I have fish going everywhere. I thought you was done. Girl, there's still meat. You over there gobbling down the bones, girl. Girl. Anyways, guys, we love and appreciate you so, so much for tuning in every I single told day. You I was hungry. I've had a headache from um earlier. Mm. We love and appreciate you guys so, so much. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Girl, I told you I was hungry. And this fish is not enough for me, girl. I need something else to eat. <sighs> there goes another head over there. It, it got meat in the top? Supposed to. Ooh, girl. You don't want it, girl. Another video, guy. Um, guys, we love... Girl, you look how much meat is this. Look at this. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all don't eat the fish head. Y'all... Is y'all dumb? Mmm. Anyways, guys, every day is another chance to slay. So slay Miss Mama's girl. Slay like how he's slaying this fish head girl. Okay, mm. guys? We love you and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. No, we're going to be live tonight, so make sure you check us out. Okay? Click the link in our description. And... Catch us on you now. Love, Love you guys, guys so much. Mwah.
<laughs> Yo. Body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins.